Hello, Chef here with a little bit of tomato information for you. I got three tomatoes here, and I'd like to know which one you think is going to be the best. In half, I'm using the titanium knife here, 8 inch chef knife, Kasumi Titanium from Japan. You can get it at the sponsor there. So here we go. Number one, uh huh. Number two, or number three. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah, number one. Oh, number two. And number three. Back with these three tomatoes uh, from the last video. And I want to do a quick tasting and tell you what I think. And also where they came from, all three of these. So uh, this first one here is really, really nice. I like it. Doesn't have a lot of seeds looks good it's juicy uh, the second one looks good as well this is one of those uh, Cherokee black tomatoes it's uh, it's a hybrid and the third one here uh, is a little on the dry side but it looks pretty good too so I'm just gonna do a real quick tasting and with that I like a little bit of sea salt uh, tomato number one here we go mmm Juicy, flavorful, slightly tart, a little sweet. I like it. Yeah. Number two. Uh-huh. Juicy, sweeter, not tart, mild flavor. It's a damn good tomato. Both of these are good. This one here. Let's take a small piece of this right here. And, uh... Wow, good, sweet, red, a little dry. All right, here you go. Here's what's going on here with these tomatoes. So I'll cut another slice of each of them while I'm talking here. This first one here, this is a, a homegrown farmer special tomato. Not sure of the exact variety, but man, it's good. Second one here is the uh, hybrid Cherokee purple or black tomato really nice really good and the third one uh, this is one of these hot house tomatoes this one came from a grocery store and it, it's good so here here's the uh, the bottom line winner by far close runner-up good for soups or sauces or salads possibly but these two have great flavor so if you're making something like uh, ensalada caprici or bruschetta or something like that, you want to try to find the best tomatoes you can get. Homegrown's number one, close runner-up. This one's okay. Plum tomatoes, you know, there's there's so many varieties of tomatoes out there, you never stop learning. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Of course, uh, tomatoes are always better if you add a little bit of the uh, fresh basil like this here. Got a little piece of basil and a little sea salt. And you might even get crazy and put a drop of uh, put a drop of uh, balsamic reduction like this. Oh uh, yeah. Now that's gonna be amazing right there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Support your sponsor. Get cooking and have a beautiful day. Don't forget to click that little like button right down there so that we know you like the video and you want to see more. Share it with your friends. And if you need custom butcher block, counters, tabletops, even this end grain, it's oh so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale, and I know there's free shipping as well. Yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. And if you need any of these awesome knives or sharpening stones, by now, you know where to get them.
I wanted to mention this is edge grain maple. The strips of wood run left to right. It's very functional, very nice. This is end grain maple. The uh, pieces of wood are turned in little squares. We also call this checkerboard look. And it maintains it, repels moisture and water. So that's it. Uh, these products are in stock at your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. Thanks for watching. a few of our fellow chefs. Don't forget to click that little like button right down there so that we know you like the video and you want to see more. Share it with your friends. And if you need custom butcher block, counters, table pops, even this end grain, it's oh so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale and I know there's free shipping as well. Yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. Have a great day. I wanted to mention this is edge grain maple. The strips of wood run left to right. It's very functional, very nice. This is end grain maple. The uh, pieces of wood are turned in little squares. We also call this checkerboard look. And it maintains it, repels moisture and water. So that's it. Uh, these products are in stock at your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. Thanks for watching.